83 degrees out. Clear skies, if you can see over here. Clear skies. I'm headed out to Sapporo. I got some uh, money from Mother's Day, and I'm going to get me, I think, a baked foundation. So I want to check it out. The foundation I've been using, I don't know, it just seems, maybe it's this old skin, but it seems to be turning more yellow on me. I wanted to find something else. I hear a lot about the baked foundation, so I'm going to try and get me some. Okay, I got me some. It's, uh, that's the color of it. Kind of rosy. I don't really know what my undertones are, but I don't think they're yellow. This is more of a rosy undertone. Yeah, she kind of rubbed it on my face. Over here, and you can't really see where it was at. I, I can't. We'll try this and see how it works. I'll show you when I put it on how it works. I have no face makeup on now. <laughs> Alright, I thought I'd show you. I bought this Sephora. <laughs> it's the powder foundation. I got matte. I thought I'd put it on here. This is a color I got. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of, it's just 24P. All pink. I mean, it's pink. Pink undertones. I don't know what kind of undertones I have. That's how it looks. And it's got a little sponge in here. It says this side is for light coverage and this for dark coverage. Or heavier coverage, I should say. So let's try this. I got my mirror here. So. I'm not one to put a lot of foundation on. Hmm. I bought this with my uh, Mother's Day money that I was given. Seems to blend in stuff pretty good. I just noticed that some of the makeup I was using tend to look a little yellow on my face after I had it on for a while. I've heard a lot of talk about these foundations and I thought I'd try it. It kind of blends out. Let me see. Let me try the other side a little bit. But I mean, it does blend it all out. My skin is just um, uneven tones right now because of my age, I guess. I do have a foundation brush. Let's do this. It does seem to even out everything. It's not a real deep coverage. Now they did tell me I could take it back, but I've used it. I've got, I think she said 60 days to take it back. I don't know if I would take it back. I would just use it. So this here is my Maybelline Nudes. I love Maybelline. And as you see, I've kind of used a lot of them. I have a little white on this. I'm going to put a little white on my brow line. From allergies, my eyes are dark right here. And 
and I just didn't. That's where I put my eyeshadow. <laughs> I use a, a very light brown, as you see right here. But see how it looks on my eyes, kind of darker. Now, I recommend this kind of mirror I have. It's got a magnifying side on it. And I know a lot of women, older women, were like, you know, that mirror shows everything. Well, I want to see everything. I want to see uh, how the makeup looks on me, if I got anything that shouldn't be there. So, I'm going to take this little brush and just kind of blend all this in. for my eyes. So I had this one I bought. I should have bought the clear. But this is Maybelline and it's a, a blonde because I kept putting stuff on there and I just kept thinking they were too dark and they, they didn't look natural on my face. It looked made up I guess. I got this. It's lighter but it does help me lay down my eyebrows a little bit and so that's mainly what I use it for. I gotta get up here close so I can see. Because I have these unruly hairs up here. So see, it just kind of blends it in a little bit. Lays it down. And I bought this, so I might as well use it. I think next time I'll just buy the clear. That's the thing. I don't think I really need a lot of color. You see? All my little brushes. <laughs> A little spoolie. Just to kind of comb them. Get them to lay down a little bit. Now I need some blush on this face. <laughs> this is my blush palette. Got it at a local store here. And I think I'm going to do this little pink. It's really a, a light pink. My blender brush. <laughs> Got a little bit of a highlighter, so I'll put that on. Once again, I kind of blend that down. So that goes a little better. Brush again. And put on some um, eyeshadow. But put it on a little thicker, like an eyeliner type thing. Got some dark browns here. I'm going to do it a little thicky, and then I'm going to smudge it. And a line there. And let me flip my mirror over here and just kind of smear this. little eyes mascara and this is my go-to Maybelline 
this has been around since I was a teenager and I'm 72 so you do the math it's always my go-to for light coverage I mean I used to use this in the day and just build it up build it up a lot of people told me oh you got long eyelashes well that's mascara you know I was looking for a lipstick a brown and I found one in Maybelline but it wasn't matte so it didn't stay on as good even though I like the color it didn't stay on now I bought this one this one here is CoverGirl Ex Exhibitionist Ultra Matte Matte and it's in the color of Solarist a 690 and as you see it's kind of a red brown brick color I found that this cover girl it stays on all day I mean even if you're eating and it gets lighter corners there so it does get lighter as you you know throughout the day but it still is on your lips and I that's what I want I don't like reapplying reapplying get this comb down a little bit <laughs> my hair I never know what it's gonna do <laughs> Let's see. Let's tame this hair down a little bit. So I just washed my hair. And when I wash my hair, it takes a while to get texturized the way I want it. So 